Welcome to the Psych Expansion Podcast. I am your host, Gabriel Elijah. Give it up for me. Yes, Lord. How y'all feeling today? What's going on? What's shaking? Man, it's been so much going on. My head is spinning. Oh, before we get into all that, give it up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Here's the people. Thank y'all for stopping by. It's kind of late. Whatever. We said that we were going to get it done. We said a podcast a day. So we're here to get it done. But again, back to it. So, so much going on, dog. Like, I'm I'm kind of confused where to start. I had, I had a plan about how I was going to start, but then some more shit came out. So I'm, I'm going to start with a, something that's not so heavy on the mind, right? Let's talk about this first because this is actually important. I mean, the other shit's important too, but this is uh, kind of important that y'all use on a daily. So first things first, Apple has uh, a update to the AirPods software because of the simple fact that there is a security vulnerability in the firmware of Apple AirPods. This goes for the AirPods 2, 3, Pro, Pro 2, Max, and some Beats headphones. So it says anyone who knows the Bluetooth Mac address, which is somewhat public, can connect to your AirPods and listen to the microphone or play music, even while the AirPods are connected to your phone, although the music will stop playing in case somebody turns on the microphone. So basically, like, yo, they listening to your conversations. Well, they're not listening, but it is it's capable for them to, like, tap into your shit if they know your Mac address. So make sure you get that software update done, that firmware, whatever the fuck it's called. You know what I'm saying? Like, make sure you get it done because you don't know who has your shit, though, you know. No tell them where you go at. Be careful about where you go use your laptop at. Because especially if you use it in a McDonald's or some shit, somewhere like that, you know, maybe you don't use it. But if you get on public Wi-Fi, somebody could have your MAC address. And, you know, and if you're using your AirPods, they could be listening to what you're listening to. And you don't want them tapping into your, you know, bank information or whatnot. Or that little shorty that you cheating on. Or, you know, that nigga that you tricking on. You know, y'all don't need that. Y'all don't need that. Make sure you get your shit done. I'll try. If I remember, I'll try and put the... I have the support link and like where you can go do the update. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could probably just... Or this just this link tells you where to find out how to update it and whatnot to make sure you got it done. <clears throat> but if you already know how to do it, go ahead and get it done. And help somebody else if you already know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So make sure you get that done. Yo, I was feeling kind of bad the other day, maybe like two days ago. I was feeling kind of bad. And <clears throat> I was just laying in the bed. You see, I still kind of got this cough. But like I was just laying in the bed and I come across I came across this tweet that made me just instantly run to the store. I had to go to the store. I had to go to the store. Because I had to try this shit out. Low key, I was feeling bad, but I was like, fuck it. Gotta try this because ain't no way I did not know this. And surprisingly, uh, let me just tell you first. Yo, did you know? So I was scroll, sitting in bed scrolling on Twitter, X, you know, X, formerly known as Twitter. I, 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 I gotta get used to saying X. But I was on X and I seen this tweet and it says, Yellow Gatorade, this is about Gatorade, right? Yellow Gatorade is best for when you're thirsty. Orange is best for hangovers. Dark blue is best for sports hydration. Light blue is best when you want a cold drink. Red is best for lunch. And then it followed and said, you know, if you are feeling sick and with a fever or feel under the weather, go get a yellow Gatorade. And then it says, sickness involving headaches are filed under the orange clause or hangovers. And I think that might have been like what was wrong with me, like a hangover. Because I was drinking a little bit, you know, not nothing crazy, but like it just didn't sit well with me. You know what I'm saying? I had drank some water before I went to bed, but I still just felt kind of 
woozy. But yo, when I did that, I kid you not, I started to feel a little better, bro. I dead ass started to feel a little better. I don't know if it's placebo or whatever, but you let me know if you decide to try it again. They say the yellow one is for the hydration. If you have like a fever, like, you know, you just dehydrated or whatever. And the orange are filed under the hangovers and, well, yeah, hangover claws. So, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you try that. You know what I'm saying? And if if you do, if you do, you owe me a subscription. Like, you owe me a, not like a paid subscription or anything. You got to go subscribe to the YouTube at Psych Expansion Podcast. You got to go do that. If you try it and I help you feel better, or maybe if you just heard that and you like, damn, I kind of want to get it right now. You owe me a fucking follow on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Go do that. Go do that. Go do that anyways. Like, Bro, it's free. Like, all you got to do is click a button. But if, you know, if it's too much for y'all understand, hopefully one day you will. You know what I'm saying? You'll find this podcast worth it. Maybe this episode will do it. Maybe this episode will do it. So, maybe like, I don't know, it was a couple podcasts ago. It wasn't long ago. I told you guys about this AI app called Suno, right? I told you guys about this app called Suno. It said you can go to your phone it's spelled s-u-n-o or you go on your computer suno basically what you can do with that app you can create music let's just say you're really good with writing songs but you're not good with finding a beat coming up with a melody you know cadence off voice all fucked up because you smoke cigarettes or black and miles or some shit like you just can't hold a note whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying this app right here, you can you can describe, let's say you don't even know how to write a song, right? This app right here, you can just describe what type of song you want. You can describe what type of song you want. Let's just say I want an R&B song that talks about whatever. I, I want an R&B song that talks about how Kendrick fucked up Drake in a rap beef. And I want it to have a... Did I already say what type of beat? R&B beat. I wanted to have an R&B beat um, with a little bit of techno pop. And yeah, include this, whatever. Include how he dissed them in all three songs. Hopefully you get what I'm saying. You can do that. The app will then... And I, I'm, I'm not a sponsor of this shit by any means. I just like cool shit. You know what I'm saying? I like real cool shit. Let me let me close this app out though because I feel like it's messing up the recording. Like I feel like it got the recording glitching out a little bit. Maybe hopefully that's better. Let me see. B Oh, okay. So let me just go ahead and finish telling you. So, let's just say you don't even know how to write lyrics though. Like I said, it'll come up with the lyrics on its own. And let's just say you're a great songwriter and you just need it to find a beat and, you know, come up with the melodies and cadence and all that for you. It'll do that. Like you just type your lyrics in. You can literally because I know song. if you're a songwriter, I know you got songs in your notes. I know you do. It's just like something that songwriters do because my my shit is full of songs that I just like, you know, because I used to make music. So. Like, I just have a lot of songs in my notes. So basically what you can do is you can copy and paste and put that song in there. I'm not sure if they have a feature yet to where it can train a model off of your voice. Maybe that's coming soon. But, yeah, hold on. Let me close this. It's probably going to make a noise. Ah. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Cap cut. Sorry, 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 sorry. Forgive me. Like, this shit, I like it doesn't want to close, though. End. Ho. Oh. And I would have had this done, but I didn't know it was going to cause these problems. It's not really, like, affecting the, the, the recording too much where it looks glitchy but i am getting like these error codes here at the bottom so i don't want to upload a video and i look like i'm skipping around and shit 
Maybe, maybe maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll work. Oh yeah, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Problem solved. Problem solved. Listen, fucking with me, you fucking with a genius. So yeah, where was I at? Where was I at? Where was I at? It'll come up with a song for you. It'll do that. Again, the app is called Suno. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let me play you. Let me play you what I came up with the other day on Suno. Am I still logged in? Hopefully, I'm still logged in. While I'm doing this, you guys can be doing it too. Just go to suno.com, S-U-N-O.com. And, oh, this is the thing about it, right? This is the thing about it. The guy who made BBL Drizzy, he made BBL Drizzy on this app. Or, yeah, like, I, I don't know if, I don't know if they have an app, but. He made BBL Drizzy using this platform, this software, or whatever. That just blew my mind because I'm like, damn, he used AI to create a song that he he most likely wrote, but he didn't come up with the beat or that wasn't his voice or anything. He just put his lyrics in and it came up with a song. Metro heard it or got hold of it some way. And like now he's a part of something way bigger than he probably expected to be you know because now drake's done using it in the sexy red song and metro has the bbl jizzy shit like yeah so yeah go going back to it it's called suno suno.com let me connect let me connect let me see there we go all right so once you go on there, you can basically see like prompts that people used and to create their song. Like if you click on it, I believe. And then or if you want to just hear what they what people have been making, like this is one. Let's see. This is all AI. Woke up this morning, struggles on my mind. All this AI. Up, feels like I'm falling behind. Let's see. Gonna, I'm gonna click on blues. Let's see. We'll click on this one. All AI. No great can hold. All AI. So if you got some lyrics, if you got some lyrics, go paste them in Suno. Tell it to create your type of song. You feel what I'm saying? See what it come up with. Never know what to come from it, son. You never know what to come from it. My homeboy, what he did was he bought credits for it, right? So, like, whenever you first make the account, it gives you free credits. It's going to say, like, something like, let me close that. It's going to say something like 50 credits, right? But that's really only, like, five, like, you get to use it five different times. You know, each time you use it takes up 10. So, what my homeboy did what I found out is that if you buy credits, though, whenever you buy credits in the terms and agreement, that basically gives you the privilege to use any song that you create, like on whatever platform you want to use it on. It won't be copyrighted. It won't be take, taken down. Nobody's going to come and try to fucking arrest you for your garbage ass song. No, I'm playing. But nobody's going to come bother you about it. You own that song from there, or at least you have the rights for for it. You know, I probably need to do a little bit more research, but yeah, you, you're good. You're good. You're good. So if I were you, to be honest with you, I would create maybe like, mm, I don't know, I'll create, I'll create me a couple songs. And before you create something that might, that you really, really might like, hey, I'm just saying, go ahead and go ahead and buy you some credits. Because I don't know if they have it to where they can tell if you made something before you bought the credits. You know what I'm saying? So, like, let's just say you created something really, really good that you really like. And then you're like, fuck it, I'm going to buy credits now and I'm going to be able to use it. I don't know if they can tell if you, whenever you bought the credits. Yeah. 
So, yeah, just take that with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. But yeah, that's that. Suno, Suno, Suno. Next thing is, I want to talk about. Oh, yeah, listen, bro. So, me and my girl went into. We was hungry. She was like, "Let's go to Chick Fil A," and I was like, "Eh, eh." Mm. She's like, where else you want to go then? And I'm like, let's Chipotle. Let's do Chipotle. You know what I'm saying? So we go in Chipotle. And when I tell you, Lord, when I tell you that uh, I'm having difficulties tonight, y'all. <sighs> okay. It's the devil. That's what my grandma and granddad used to say. Every time something happens. And it's like, it's the devil. It's the devil. So, yeah, it's the devil. But anyway, so we went into Chipotle, and my girl, she was ordering her food. And, like, they gave her the smallest little scoop of rice. And she's like, can I have a little more? Another one. She was like, just a little more. Then I get up there. I ain't gonna lie to you, I already had it prepared in my mind. Once I seen what she was doing, having to do, I'm like, yeah, can I get three scoops of rice? Two scoops of beans? Like, why do they be skimping on the fucking food? Like, it's rice and beans. It's rice and beans. Like, why are you skimping on that? Loki. And then you go to the protein. You get to the protein, and they only give you a little bit of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they only give you, like, one little scoop of the protein. And if you get another scoop, it's extra. The guac costs extra. They charge for the vinaigrette. Like, all that shit costs. So, you fuck around, get down there. You got one scoop of protein. You know, you got your two to three scoops of rice. Let's just say you did it without knowing that you could ask for more. Like, you thought you was going to get charged more. They're going to give you one scoop of rice, one scoop of beans, one scoop of protein, and, you know, whatever else you get. Let's just say you get the lettuce, you get the cheese on there. Man, when I tell you them fucking bowls come up to, like, what, how much was it, like, $18? And you going to give me one scoop of all this shit? Nigga. So... What I what I was on uh, Instagram, right? And I seen where Keith Lee, you know, he does all the food reviews and shit like that for the places. He had been hearing about, like, the Chipotle dilemma, we're going to call it, where they're only giving you one scoop of, you know, everything. Like, they, they short you on the portions. So I think he sent somebody in there for him, so they didn't know it was, like, for him. You know what I'm saying? So they didn't, like, try to look out for him because they knew it was him. Whenever I tell you he came, like, they got he got his bowl, paid the guy for getting his bowl for him or whatever, and he opened that bowl, and the nigga could not find any chicken. Like, he, he, was, bar- like, he was barely finding chicken in his bowl. He's like, damn, where's the chicken at? Like, you could see him searching through it. I'm like, bro, this shit is real. Apparently, I was online today. And I seen where it says Chipotle customers on TikTok and X have theorized that the chain is holding back on its scoops and doling out significantly, significantly smaller portions despite multiple price hikes. They definitely hiked the motherfucking prices. It says last month, food critic Keith Lee. Well, that's the shit I just told y'all about, right? The CEO seen that video Keith Lee did and then came back and said, you know, we 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 ain't told them to do nothing. Like these are the portions that they supposed to have been giving y'all. Basically, you know, I don't know what y'all talking about. The employees are saying like, you know, Brad, they told us to do this. I'm just trying to do my job. And apparently, people, TikTokers and other just influencers, or just regular people, have been going into Chipotle like like this right here flashlights on just looking like making it seem like they're recording them or either recording them so they don't get smaller portions they say it's a stat out that says people who come into chipotle and 
have their phones out like they're recording usually get larger size portions, right? The employee added that customers filming workers while they make food doesn't affect portion size because workers have a preset amount they give each customer. But according to the TikTokers and shit, it's like that's a lie, right? I go in there without my phone, they I'm damn near coming out with a fucking applesauce cup of worth of food. But I go in there and act like I'm recording y'all. Y'all wanna y'all wanna fill my shit up. You know what I'm saying? It says we just have our standard Chipotle portion size, they said, and we're supposed to follow by the book. And if a manager catches you not doing that enough times, they can write you up uh, if they feel like they need to do so. And another person said, please, please stop filming us. We're just trying to do our jobs as we have been told to do. Whatever. So there was this one guy said, fuck it. I'm going to put all this to rest. I'm going to put everything to rest. Like, don't even worry about it no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to figure this shit out. He said, so there was this analyst who bought 75 burrito. What it says, he bought 75 burritos from eight Chipotles to prove the portion size problem was a real thing. And it wasn't just you and me. You know what I'm saying? Because they definitely be skimping me. But so it basically says Chipotle burrito bowls can vary widely in size. Chipotle had recently got a wave of social media attention from users claiming that the fast casual chain of holding bag analysts at Wells Fargo sought to put the debate to a rest and order 75 identical burrito bowls orders across eight locations in New York City. The smallest bowl was 13.8 ounces and the largest was nearly twice as big at 26.8 ounces. And you're trying to tell, listen, niggas is not tripping. Like, the shit isn't just going on for no reason. Like, people not saying this for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Like, people can be greedy and, like, want you to, you know what I'm saying? But it's like a thing now, you know? It's a thing. I, I promise you, next time you go into Chipotle, just look, pay attention to the portion size they're giving you. You know what I'm saying? And they say... Uh, what else I was reading is that they say that you're so you can ask for however much rice. OK, I'm not going to say however much, but like if you want more scoops of rice or, and beans, that's the two things that they uh, specify. If you want more scoops of rice and beans, it's free, you know, but the other shit yeah, I pay for if you get more scoops from that little last spoon. But yeah, that's that. You know what I'm saying? So. I mean. I still go there. I'm not going to lie. I, I just got to be on a ass about, you know, filling my bowl up or doing what I think is. And who who cares what I think, right? Maybe I'm just greedy. Maybe I'm just a pig. I ain't no fucking pig. I ain't no damn pig. I know they doing me wrong. Just like how Kendrick did Drake wrong, right? For all you Drake fans. Kendrick did Drake wrong, didn't he? Drake looked out for Kendrick. And brought him on tour where nobody was fucking with him. And Kendrick just come back and body that nigga, right? They not like us. Say, Drake, I hear like I'm young. You better I ever go to cell block one. Yeah. There's so many, like, parts I remember from that song. I can low-key really rap the whole thing. But, like, it's that part. It's like, sometimes you got to pop out and show niggas. Certified boogeyman. I'm the one to up the score with him. Walk him down the whole time. I know he got some hoe in him. And then there was another part where he was like, you know, to say Drake, I hear you like I'm young. You better not ever go to cell block one. And then he was like, um, the fan part. He was like, he a fan, he a fan, he a fan. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan. Freaky ass yeah, nigga, he a 69 God. Freaky ass yeah, nigga, he a 69 God. Hey, 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 run for your life. That part there. What else? The let me hear you say oh we how and then the step this way. Say, bruh, it's just too many. The song is O D catchy, right? And it's just like it's a bop. Tell me why niggas is sending me video or, or pictures and videos saying like, Oh yeah, Drake. Drake is I mean, Kendrick bought views and da da da. But that does not take away from that song being a fucking bop. Like Everybody likes that song. They say that Spotify, Drake actually posted this, right? Drake posted this post. Let me read it to you. It says, hey, he entered, there's this guy named Trainwreck, and him and Drake are like kind of with 
they they have some they they have both have a deal that they're both on not with kick or any streaming platform i think it's with damn it's a betting platform where you can bet and shit i can't remember the name of it but anyways it says hey pragmatic can we can we take it back to 2022 can you backdoor eddie like spotify backdoor the streams for that one like like spotify backdoor the streams for that one song from that one guy so you know you can obviously assume who he's talking about because even on his uh, Instagram, he's been posting like robots and all this other shit. Like, why is this shit still tripping? But yeah, that I, I don't know. Drake's hurt, though. I just feel like the nigga's hurt. He's lost. He ain't really been in this predicament in a minute. Like, not like this. Like, he lost to push a T, but not like this. Not like this. This is a little different. This is a little different. Even the songs that Drake have been putting out afterwards ain't really been ain't really been hitting like that for real. Like he had that one song, Ain't hey, Got Delilah, Won't You Come to New York? Like, listen, I don't know if y'all ever heard that. I know you know like that melody or whatever. But like listen to this. I'm gonna just play a little bit of it because if I play too much they're gonna flag my shit and i'm not gonna be able to yeah it's gonna say copyright and all this other shit but hold on let me see this is drake walk on delilah no i'm late because there's bad traffic i just show my dog yeah no like that's one of the songs that he did like since the whole kendrick thing and then he did the he did the this shit right here you know what i'm saying fuck I'm trying to stress it. I ain't gonna lie, he kind of he kind of slid on that shit right there. Definitely slid on that one. But it is, but like it's still like ah. Uh, and then he did a song with Camila Cabela. Usually you hear about everything that Drake puts out. I did not even hear the song yet that he did with Camila Cabela. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I really don't know any lyrics from the sexy red shit. I definitely don't know any shit from. That other one, the ain't there the line line, won't you come to New York City? Oh uh, yeah, I don't know none of that shit. None of that shit. You remember that video? Like, nah, never mind. The little kid, he was like, none of that shit. None of that shit. Anyways, yeah, he did a song with Camila Cabela, who is said to be a racist, which doesn't look good either, based off of, you know, what Kendrick was saying, like, when he was like, he was like, what did he say when he was like, niggas calling us some slaves? Nigga double down on it, calling us some slaves. Let me run it, whatever. Whenever he got into the whole thing about how he used Future to get in the club, he used Lil Baby to get his lingo up. 2 Chain said, you good, but he lied. Quavo said, you can be from North Side. Slime make you feel, thug make you feel like a slime in his head. Whatever. I probably said it wrong, but yeah. All that, all that shit. I don't know. I'm ready for Drake to put out an album, though. I ain't gonna lie. Get in your bag, nigga. Get in your bag. Get, get go be Drake, nigga. Go be Drake. I was just listening to you know views. I was just listening to who likes to grab the mic and hand. If it was at an eight, we liked it. We liked it. We liked to If shit was at an eight, we liked to make it ten. That song is so fire. That song is so fire. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's called Eight Out of Ten by Drake. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Watch this. Eight out of ten. He said, I gotta breathe real hard when I catch an attitude to that. Come on, bro. Niggas think I'm hating on you, but I'm not hating on you. I just need you to get in your fucking duffy. You know what I'm saying? Yo. And yeah, niggas just think I hate you, Drake. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. It, it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you, nigga. Just getting your bag. Hey, Ross went to Canada, though, and got fucking sucker punched. Nigga said he was running and shit. I seen the video, bro. I didn't... I didn't... I didn't see where they were saying that he was running, though. That's my thing. I didn't see him running. So somebody please send me that video on my Instagram, askgabriel underscore, or at the podcast, Instagram, Psych Expansion Podcast. On Instagram, man, or TikTok, Psych Expansion Podcast. Send me the video where it showed Rick Ross running away, right? And this is the thing. There's a difference between being pulled away and running away, right? Especially in situations like that. Like, 
you are, if you're the breadwinner and you're taking care of families, right? At that point, Rick Ross is taking care of families. And this is no excuse for like, I guess like not helping your mans, but like the situation was kind of iffy. But if you're the head honcho, you don't put it like this. The president ain't out there fighting. You know what I'm saying? He has troops. He has soldiers. The general, or I think, I don't know military lingo or whatever, but, like, the general, like, ain't really out there fighting. It's the soldiers. It's the troops. If I'm feeding families, why am I going to put my life on the line to get stabbed and whatever, and now nobody else can eat? You know what I'm saying? Like... Niggas is joking and shit, talking about, yeah, you're Ross running around. You want Ross to stay in there, get killed or stabbed or whatever, life in danger. And then you're going to be like, damn, man, this shit didn't even have to go this way. Yeah, fuck out of here, nigga. Listen, to be honest with you, nigga, I'm not going to stand there and I don't know what these white boys got. These niggas look like the fucking biker gang, nigga, like... And you know white people be carrying knives, bro. Every white... I'm from the country. Every white boy that I know got a knife on them. Got a knife on them. And if I come around, like, let's just say, like, they left their knife in the truck or something. Like, Gabriel, let me let me see your knife. I'll be like, bro, I ain't got no knife. And be like, you ain't got a knife? You own a knife? Like, it's just, like, something that you're supposed to have with them. You know what I'm saying? Just like if you go ask a nigga in the street. You be like, nigga, you got a blick? And then he be like... Yeah, nigga. Like, or if you say you ain't got one, it's like, nigga, you ain't got no blick. Whatever, nigga. Them white boys be carrying knives. Ain't gonna lie to you. But uh, yeah, if I'm Ross, I ain't trying to get poked up, nigga. Not by them crazy looking motherfuckers. But uh, yeah, anyways, that happened. What else is new? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did y'all see where. Uh, did y'all see where. Uh, what's his name? Party Next Door. He sent a one shot at Chris Brown, Bryson Taylor, and Jeremiah after they featured his ex girl's friend Desma in a new music video called Wait on It. <laughs> he tweeted, he said, I'm finna make these niggas cry. Bryson, Chris, and Jeremiah, enjoy enjoy the nights of your life. And then he was like doing videos at 34. That bitch broke. Nigga, if that's your ex and you got so much motion. Like, why are you? I mean, I get it. It's your ex, but nigga, let that woman live her life. You know what I'm saying? You think these niggas follow you that much to where they know who you fucking with? And I'm not saying that, like, the the the, the rap world is huge. Like, I doubt them niggas, like, pay attention to every bitch you date. You know what I'm saying? That's just kind of... I think that's kind of conceited to even think that, like, we're keeping up with who you date. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan. <laughs> but, yeah, that happened. Chris Brown, you know, you know, Chris Brown be on go. That nigga be on go. That nigga Chris Brown be on go. He already done got that Quavo. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't really like that shit, Breezy, man. You ain't had to come at my nigga like that, bro. Pause. That nigga said, who wants to Chris Brown? Let me see. Y'all, I know y'all heard this, right? Maybe. I don't even. Th- is this shit even on? Is this shit even on streaming platforms? He made a song. About Quavo. Who wants to smoke? Let's see. Maybe. Maybe. Did he make a song? I mean, did somebody put it on? Put it on here? Like this is the one he did about Quavo. Bro, no smoke, Wait. Oh, this is just a fucking beat, anyways. Long story short, that nigga Breezy went stupid. So Breezy went back to Twitter X and said that niggas speak without thinking sometimes, which is a fact. He said, then call around to my people trying to retract shit. Nah, nigga. Go on your socials and apologize. Or else keep that same energy when you see me. Hey, can you blame that nigga? I feel like Breezy be catching a lot of, like, stray shit just from bitches. 
Like not not from bitches, like not calling them niggas bitches or the bitches that's involved bitches, but like or maybe I am doing that. He catches a lot of strays because of females. Like niggas like be on his body paws, but like be be trying to get at that nigga because of a girl or woman. It's like damn. I don't know. That nigga whole career just be like, it's just, every time you hear something about damn Chris Brown, it's got a girl involved in it or some shit. And then that nigga put out some fire ass, long ass albums. Them albums be longer than a fucking year. Like, nigga, you got, you cannot just sit and listen to Chris Brown album in one ride, like in one car ride. It's too many fucking songs on there. Nigga be having like songs with 50 songs on there. Nah, they really be like 30, but like, anyways, what else? That's enough about the beef shit. I don't really care about that shit too much. I told y'all last week about the Dr. Disrespect, which is a gamer. He got caught texting a minor, not texting a minor, but basically DMing a minor on Twitch. There was a, there was another report that came out. It says Call of Shame. It says Dr. Disrespect was reportedly reported by Twitch to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children when they were illegally recording his DMs back in 2017. A full and investigation was authorized and no wrongdoing was found and no illegal activity took place by Dr. Disrespect. No arrests were made and no charges were filed, thus adding more weight to that Dr. Disrespect is innocent, as this is indeed looking like a witch hunt by ex-Twitch employees to frame Dr. Disrespect. This next part says, unconfirmed, unconfirmed in brackets. It says, it is also reported that the minor, quote-unquote minor, was actually a former Twitch employee pretending to be a 17-year-old girl and trying to bait Dr. Disrespect with entrapment techniques while the ex twitch mods illegally recorded it all they were all fired soon after and sued by dr disrespect's legal team they are very bitter over this and why this whole thing is coming out for the second time after it's already been dealt with yeah i don't i'm I'm not on nobody's side i don't have a dog in that fight if he's wrong he's wrong right but if they're doing some shit like that then nigga come on Come on, my nigga. Let the nigga make his bread. Like, fuck is y'all. Even though he was messaging her, messaging her knowing that she was 17. Even if she wasn't 17. Like, get what I'm saying? Like, if she was pretending to be 17, but she was really, like, 28. But she was telling him she was 17. If he was messaging her knowing that, like, or at least thinking that she's 17. Yeah, come on, my nigga. And you got a wife. You know what I'm saying? You fucking up, cousin. You fucking up, cuz he, bro. The fuck? <sighs> Niggas, bro. Niggas is stupid. About like the goddamn them inmates that recorded the, them fucking the prison guard woman. And like they recorded it, had her face in and everything. And then somehow the video just gets sent out or gets revealed. Niggas, bro. I'm telling you, I'll be fucking a bag up for yourself. So let's talk about sports a little bit. Just want to go over like some deals that happened in the free agency yesterday. Started at 6 p.m. So James Harden got a two-year, $70 million deal with the Clippers. Andre Drummond, two-year, $10 million. Tyrese Maxey, five-year, $204 million with the Sixers. Kelly Oubre, two years, $16.3 million with the Sixers. Contavious Caldwell Pope intends to sign a three-year, $66 million deal with the Orlando Magics. I already said Drummond, right? But I didn't say the team. It says a two-year, $10 million, $10-plus million deal with the Philadelphia 76ers. Detroit Pistons plan to sign Kay Cunningham to a five-year, $226 million deal. And here's where the money comes in, the money on. I mean, yo, don't don't get me wrong. That's money on too. Give it up for that real quick. You know what I'm saying? Give it up for that. That's money on. Them niggas is making money on as well. But this nigga Jason Tatum got fucking 
fifteen million dollars for five years. The Supermax contract. Jalen Brown, five years, three hundred and four million. As you know, everybody was waiting to see where Clay Thompson went, departed from the clip. I mean, I said Clippers, Golden State Warriors after thirteen years. I heard they was gonna retire his jersey. You know, hang it up in the Raptors, which I can respect that. Like, you should. Clay got a three-year, $50 million contract with the Dallas Mavericks. Congrats to him. Paul George, he got a four-year, $212 million deal with the Sixers. Niggas kind of knew he was going there because they seen, I don't know how these investigative Twitter niggas be finding shit, but they... They seen for some reason they're on her. Sh- okay, let me just go ahead and say it. They seen where Paul George's wife followed Embiid's wife and said that this is the first person she's followed in a long time. But it's like, why are you even on her followers? Like, how do you? It, I guess this is a thing though, right? Like it make kind of would kind of make sense. It's like let me f- track who he's following and who she's following to see if there's any like edge I can get there. But yeah, yeah, that happened. What else? Uh, da, 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 da. And in the WNBA, Angel Reese made history. She became the first WNBA player with ten straight double double in a single season. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Indiana Fever beat the Phoenix Mercury. The Mercury was looking good. Caitlin Clark was looking iffy in the first half. She was getting a lot of turnovers. She wasn't really scoring that much. I think she it was she was like two for six or one for six or something like that in the first half. Whatever. She came back out in the third quarter and was going crazy. She was responsible for twenty. She was involved and responsible for twenty. Of the 29 points they scored in the third quarter to help her team rally to the win. She ended up with 15 points, 9 rebounds, 12 assists. You know, when she was leaving out of the Phoenix Arena, you know, the the that she her being on the away team, you know what I'm saying? She, they gave her a standing ovation after the game. To speak on Asia Wilson, her June stats went crazy. She was averaging 27.2 points per game, 10 rebounds per game, 10.3 rebounds per game, 2.2 steals, and two blocks per game in June. So give it up for all the women, all the basketball, all the men players. Also at the BET Awards, Jalen Brunson and Angel Reese won Sportsman and Woman of the Year. So yeah, that's what's up, man. Give it up for all of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. What else we got? What else we got? Uh we did the Chipotle, we did the Gatorade, we did the AirPods. Woo, boys, are we are we done? No way we done that fast. Hell no. I know I okay, I got this, I got that. I read this one thing, this is just random, but it says Governor Ron DeSantis signed the law SB ten eighty four on May first. And it went into effect on Monday, making the Sunshine State the first in the nation to ban lab-grown meat. Alabama became the second state to do so later in May, but its law won't go into effect till October. I mean, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I've seen this. Somebody tweeted, like, if we are eating processed meat, doesn't that mean we're vegetarian? I mean... Hey, there's this a bit of truth to that. Now, you know what I'm saying? So y'all been doing something that y'all didn't even know y'all could do. God, it's all about mindset. The way you think about things. Perception, my nigga. Like, I told y'all that. Like, come on. Y'all do better. Zach Bryan found the hot to Zach Bryan is a country singer, rapper, or whatever the fuck you consider them. Country singers. He found the the girl Haley. I think that's her name. The girl that was like the hot tool and everybody going crazy over. And he brought her on stage. She had her beer in her hand. You know what I'm saying? And she, she walked to the mic and was like hot to it. And I'm, I think that shit is just so nasty, bruh. Fuck is everybody running around talking about hot to it for? Hmm? Hmm? You're a dummy, bitch. Huh? You're a dummy, bitch. Huh? Well, yeah. <clears throat> That's that. What else? What else? So, 
let's talk about politics for a little bit not not, not too much but uh, so today i felt uh i guess it was something that happened today the president gets immunity you know while they are president so basically saying like this is what i read i didn't know what it meant right it says practical implication in practice this means that any political criminal charges against a sitting president would likely be deferred until they leave office however civil lawsuits and other legal actions that do not seek that do not seek to imprison the president can proceed while they are in office as seen in cases like Clinton versus Jones in 1997, where the Supreme court ruled that a sitting president is not immune from civil litigation for acts done before taking office or unrelated to the office. It also says that while a sitting president may be immune from criminal prosecutions, they are not immune from impeachment. What else? The idea of presidential immunity from persecution, prosecution is not explicitly stated in the Constitution. It has developed through legal interpretations and opinions, particularly from the Department of Justice Office of Legal Counsel. Yeah, that's that. So, I mean, I don't even really know what to think of this. I have a clip from Biden speaking on it today. Let me play this clip for you real quick. This is what Joe President Joe Biden had to say about it. And don't act like you don't want to hear him just because niggas is calling him Sleepy Joe. What's your opinion on Joe Biden? Besides what you heard and you taking up other people's perception, perspective on Joe Biden, what do you know about Joe Biden? What research have you done on Joe Biden? You just been hearing shit and just repeating shit. I know you have. I know you have. I know you have. Go do your own research. Don't let somebody don't let somebody else make you think a way about a person before you go, you know, figure out how this person is. You know what I'm saying? Because he could have done some shit for you in your life that you don't even know about. And you say you're talking bad about him because you see these little clips on Instagram, whatever. And I'm not taking up for the nigga. You know what I'm saying? The nigga be falling asleep all the goddamn time. Nah, it's not even really falling asleep. He just be, the thing that bothers me is him like getting hung up on his words and thoughts and then forgetting his train of thought. Like, I mean, which that's a, that's a human thing to do, but it's just like he does it so often. And then he'll start talking sometimes. Listen, I don't even want to fuck up your perception of him anymore, right? Because I know you're going to try to say, oh, see that shit right there that you talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Too. No, nigga. No, it's not. But listen, go do your research on Joe Biden, though. If you don't really know much about him, man, the voting time's coming up. It's coming up soon, and it's going to be a pretty important one. But, like, this is what Joe Biden had to say about the uh, immunity decision. This nation was founded on the principle that there are no kings in America. Each, each of us is equal before the law. No one. No one is above the law, not even the President of the United States. But today's Supreme Court decision on presidential immunity, that fundamentally changed. For all, for all practical purposes, today's decision almost certainly means that there are virtually no limits on what a president can do. This is a fundamentally new principle, and it's a dangerous precedent, because the power of the office will no longer be constrained by the law even including the Supreme Court of the United States. The only limits will be self-imposed by the president alone. This decision today. Yeah, that's what Joe Biden had to say about it, man. He basically thinks that nobody should be, you know, able to make decisions and have like a uh, protection over their decisions just because the position that they're put in, which I respect, right? Like that's an opinion you can respect, right? Some of y'all may be like, that's good. That's good. Okay. First good thing he said. No, it's not, nigga. He said more good shit. Go do your research. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trump wouldn't have said no shit like that. Trump was like, well, I think it's a great decision, and I don't think they should be able to say because some, t- yeah, whatever, nigga. Whatever. But uh, just beat this super son. Hey, yo, I watched uh Bohemian Rhapsody. I did not know there were some songs in there that, uh, yeah, it's called Bohemian Rhapsody, right? With Queen. There were some songs in there that I did not know was theirs let me let me show you which one that i didn't know was theirs i watched it for that that's actually a good movie i might watch it again tonight because like what was it about the movie that i liked 
I liked a lot of things about it. The music, of course, like you know, their music is it has a range in audience, right? Like, I don't think there's a race that it can't like fit in with or whatever. Like, there's a race that dislikes it. I don't know what I'm trying to say, or I know what I'm trying to say, but I don't know how to articulate it. But it have good music. Let me see. Wait, did I hear this one? Okay, I, just, I heard that one in the movie. I didn't really know that one, to be honest with you. Let's see this one. Knew this one. Definitely knew this one. Is this the real life? Ooh, it make you cry? Oh, yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't know that one. I ain't gonna lie to you. There's a lot of this shit that I didn't know. Let's see what, let's, let's go through like two more. Don't know that one. Definitely know this one. I know this one. And I know this is not the one that, you know, you probably think like, oh, no, you don't know that one. You thinking of something else. No, I know that one. Like, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. And what's the... We will, we will rock you. Yeah. That song there. What's the one that he made in the movie where he was like in the club? It's like, let's see. No. 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 Down, down, down. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, that shit is fire. That shit is heat. I'm not going to lie to you. That shit was heat. And, you know, I was telling my girl, I was like, it's crazy. Like, the people that's having, like, the most success, something always happens to them. Like, something always happens. Like, yeah. I can't even remember the list that we came up with. But, like, when you think about Juice World, the influence that he had on the world, Michael Jackson, Prince, like, well, I don't even know what happened to Prince. I don't think we said Prince, to be honest with you. I think I just said that, but. You know, yeah. <sighs> I think, yo, honestly, I think, oh, 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 okay. Let me go through this real quick. Let me go through this real quick. So, basically, you know, Pride Month just ended. But there's a lot of shit been going on with the Pride Month thing, right? So, yesterday, specifically, there was a whole bunch of bra. There was a Pride Parade in New York City. Brawls went crazy. Like, brawls. I don't mean, I don't, I'm not saying broads. I'm saying brawls like niggas fighting, right? Crazy. Niggas out there fighting. Pride Month going stupid. That's how they decide to end Pride Month. There was another Pride Month parade in San Francisco, right? Niggas is, and I don't mean niggas. When I say niggas, I'm just, now I'm hyped. Now my fucking, my temperature's raising. Niggas, they was out there naked. They was out there naked. In front of kids. It was encouraged to bring kids. It was considered a... Which I'm just now finding out that... Most Pride events are considered family friendly. But it says that... You know... Police confirmed that full nudity in San Francisco is allowed and and legal... In front of kids... As long as... It's not for sexual gratification. It's like, how do you even tell if it is for sexual gratification? Yeah, there's obvious things that they can do, like maybe like flash a kid or be walking around beating a shit or whatever. Man, let's see. That was one other thing. It says this. This. These are not my words. I'm just reading it from X. It says from Colin Rugg on x right says toronto pride turns into a degenerate parade as pervs take off take their clothes off to celebrate their pride bring back asylum asylums it's spelled a-s-y-l-u-m-s 
like I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, maybe I'm a dumbass, whatever. Families and children were encouraged to celebrate Toronto's Pride Field weekend. And I'm not a dumbass nigga. Let me hold on. I'm not no dumbass nigga. Don't, don't be trying to agree with me just because I said that. I was just saying that like as a joke. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm not no dumbass. Well, and if you don't know, nigga, now you know. It says families and children were encouraged to celebrate Toronto's Pride Field weekend as thousands flocked to different events in the city, including Family Pride. Family Pride is a fun field experience on the grounds of the on the grounds of Church Street School. Here families can indulge in face painting, magic show, storytelling, and so much more. Said so organizers of Family Pride. Blah, 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 blah. The children were it said this just says please note that adults are only allowed in this space if accompanying accompanying a child children zero to 12 years oh and that shit just don't make sense to me brother but excuse me yeah that's all i got for y'all today man listen i just want to say use your ai technology Pay attention to politics. Go pay attention to the person that you like. Go do, just go do a little bit of research into the political, uh, the 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 fucking candidates. I said the politicals, the candidates. Ask for extra rice and beans when you go to Chipotle. Pull out your cell phone, act like you're recording them, so they give you more. Um, what else? Remember, yellow Gatorade if you're feeling dehydrated. Orange if you know you got a hangover. Dark blue if you. You know, you're working out and you need sports hydration, light blue, if you just want a cold drink. And if you're eating Chipotle or Chick-fil-A for lunch, get a red one. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Give it up for Jalen Brunson and Andrew Reese, who won Sportsman and Woman of the Year once more. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I'm off of I'm off of it. Hey, man, appreciate y'all. Make sure you follow us on Psych Expansion on YouTube, Psych Expansion Podcast on Instagram, Ask Gabriel on Instagram, which is my personal one, and follow me on, what is it, Facebook, Gabriel Barksdale, Gabriel Elijah, you know, on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I hope y'all have a great night, and I'm going to holler at y'all.